You are listening to the Rewards Canada Podcast. Hello and welcome to episode 81 of the Rewards Canada podcast. In this episode, we look at why we think hybrid rewards credit cards are the best bet for most Canadians. This episode of the Rewards Canada podcast is brought to you by the HSBC World Elite MasterCard. Right now, until September 27th, 2021, you can earn up to 70,000 bonus points and pay no annual fee in the first year when you apply for and are approved for the card. Visit rewardscanada.ca slash podcast for more details. So whether you are a frequent flyer, a points and miles junkie, or neither, but want to have the most flexibility in your travel rewards and even rewards beyond that, there's one type of card that is the best for everyone. That type of card is the hybrid card. This is the moniker for these cards that Rewards Canada instituted many moons ago, but they're also known as flexible points cards, and they give you the best of all worlds when it comes to being rewarded from your credit cards. So you may be asking the question, what are hybrid cards? Well, let me tell you. First, we like to use the term hybrid instead of flexible points, as some card issuers call their points flexible points in that you can book any travel at any time. However, that's it. They're not, uh, they don't have conversion options like some of the other flexible points cards in the market. Hence the reason we like to use hybrid as it avoids that confusion. Hybrid cards give you that book travel anytime, anywhere that you want, but they also have options to convert cards. Uh, convert those points to other loyalty programs. I shouldn't say cards. It might be confusing you guys there. Um, They really have more redemption options and they are the perfect card or cards for those who aren't 100% sure as to what they want to use their rewards for. Or in the terms of like kind of the points and miles junkies and frequent flyers, it's kind of a a place to bank those points and miles until you know what you want to do with them. Um, So basically what a hybrid card is, is you have access to the card issuer's proprietary rewards program. So these are typically your book, any airline, any any time type rewards that we already mentioned, Uh, hotels, car rentals, so on. Um, But then they also provide the option to convert those proprietary program points into other travel rewards programs from various frequent flyer and frequent guest programs that are out there. These are the critical reasons that make hybrid cards the best bet for all Canadians. You essentially have all your bases covered. You can get the flexibility of the proprietary reward program, that is booking travel on your own terms, the dates you want, the places you want, how you want to travel, and so on, all for a known redemption rate. Whether it is a program that has a set award chart, like RBC's Avion, or a set amount of points redeemed per dollar spent, or both, which we see on a lot of cards, proprietary credit card programs are flexible and easy to use because you typically have a known valuation of about 1-2% to on the spending that you made on that card, um, but those get boosted, of course, with accelerated earn rates. But that's just kind of your known redemption rate. Um, so they're, they're really easy. Um, but then you have the option after that to, if you have those points in your account, to convert to airline and hotel programs. And that's where you get the outsized value because it's known that frequent flyer and frequent guest programs provide or can provide huge value, way more than the proprietary reward programs on the credit cards. But there is a trade-off because there tends to be a little bit less flexibility. Converting to airline and hotel programs can mean returns of 2, 5, 10, or even what we've shown before, 20% back on your spending on the credit card. But you are locked into that particular airline or hotel program, its rules, and its availability. You can only choose from that program's partners. You may not get the dates of travel you really want, and so on. So they are less flexible. So that's why we love these hybrid cards because you get both options. You know, the frequent flyer, frequent guest programs, they have your typical pain points that we've seen for, you know, pretty much 40 years in these traditional loyalty programs that we've all become accustomed to. But when you do get those flights in business or first class, or those hotel stays in an overwater villa and are paying with points instead of doling out thousands of dollars in cash, it's worth it in the end. And that's why hybrid cards are a favorite of Rewards Canada why they are the best option for most Canadians, and why you should have at least one hybrid card in your wallet. I mean, why wouldn't you want the ability to have the option for all sorts of redemption avenues and not be stuck with just one? 
Yes, there are cases where some people won't need the frequent flyer or frequent guest redemptions, so maybe a hybrid card isn't on the top of the list. But here's the thing. Most of Canada's hybrid cards have amazing proprietary rewards, so they should be considered front runners anyways. In fact, three of our top five credit cards overall in our travel rewards rankings are hybrid cards. So now that you know what a hybrid card is, let's take a look at the hybrid card offerings that are available here in Canada. There are literally only about a dozen hybrid cards in Canada. A good um, portion are from American Express, um, while the only hybrid Visa cards are issued by RBC, and the only hybrid MasterCard comes from HSBC. So you see there's not a lot of options out there. There's also one other card that's available. It's a diner, or not, I shouldn't say available, but out there. It's the Diners Club Club Rewards MasterCard. It's a hybrid card, but it's not available to the public, so we don't really touch upon that card much anymore. Uh, we do have it in our wallet here at Rewards Canada because we had that card probably for over 20 years now, pretty close to that, somewhere around there. Um, but unfortunately, it, BMO took it off the market many years ago. So first, let's look at the cards from American Express. All cards that earn membership rewards are hybrid cards. So this is like the Cobalt card, the Choice card, Gold Rewards card, Green card, Platinum, and Centurion cards. They are some of the most flexible cards in the market due to the sheer size of redemption options that are given to the card members that hold on to these cards. Essentially, you have your um, flexible points program that we've discussed. So that's your travel anytime, anywhere. It's 1,000 points gets you $10 off towards any travel. You can book any travel with whomever you want. And once the charge shows up on your account, you can redeem points against the charge. And that's even after you've traveled. You have months, you have 12 months afterwards to redeem points against that charge. Um, and what this means is depending on which American Express card you have, it means a 1-5% to 5 return on your spending. And that doesn't take into account any bonus offers. Like at the time of recording this, uh, American Express was running the um, Eats and Drinks bonus offer on the Platinum card, which is 10 times the points uh, for those categories. So that was, that's huge and brings your, your valuation up. Um, so after the flexible points, American Express also has their fixed points for travel. So this is your traditional travel rewards chart option and they have that as well where you can get up to two cents per point redeemed or up to a 10 percent return if you have the cobalt card or if we take that platinum card offer of 10 times points that's really upwards of a 26 percent return since you're getting 13 points per dollar on uh, on dining spend on the platinum card so it could be a huge return there but then um you have their conversion options as well so the centurion platinum and gold cards you can convert the points to Aeroplan and British Airways at a one-to-one -one rate. So there's your airline conversion options. Um, those are the main ones for those cards, but they also have Alitalia, Cathay Pacific, Delta, and Etihad as well. And those ones convert at one point to three quarters of a, a mile or point in those respective airline programs. So those ones are a little bit weaker uh, compared to Aeroplan and British Airways. The, those two are by far the most popular for those cards. But there are times when Etihad has run bonuses when you convert from their financial partners, which could make it worthwhile to convert to one of those programs. Um, and then you have their hotel conversion option. So you can convert to Marriott and Hilton. And on occasions, they have bonuses. For example, just before uh, the recording of this podcast, during June of 2021, there was a 30% bonus from American Express for converting to Marriott and Hilton. And all cards uh, have this option. That includes the Cobalt and Choice because you can convert those to Marriott and the Hilton. So as you can see, you have some of the most popular conversion partner options in Canada right there on those cards. Aeroplan is by far the big one, but then you also have British Airways, which is very popular for points and miles junkies, and Marriott as well, which is huge for, for many of us, the points and miles junkies, but even those who are starting to learn that hotel programs can provide a lot of value, especially for family travel. Um, all these programs provide some great redemption avenues for most Canadians and provide a lot of potential value that is outsized. And by outsized, I mean greater than that 2% return that you may see redeeming for, for any travel. Uh, and I use kind of 2% as a, a benchmark because, you know, if you have the Cobalt card, it could be 5%, 10%, but just kind of average across the board in the whole market. Um, we have lots of great articles on Rewards Canada that show the amazing value from these cards. And we'll put, make sure to link some of those on our podcast page at rewardscanada.ca slash podcast. And also remember that American Express recently updated their redemption for used points for purchases, which is their cash back option. So they, they raised that to match the travel option where it's 1,000 points for $10. So now you have high-powered hybrid cards that are actually 
high-powered cashback cards as well. It just adds one more redemption option with great value. Now let's take a break and have another message from our sponsor. Our sponsor for this episode of the Rewards Canada podcast is the HSBC World Elite MasterCard. Ranked in the top five travel rewards cards in Canada, this card offers no foreign transaction fees, an annual $100 travel enhancement credit, points that you can redeem for any travel that you book yourself, the option to convert the points to three amazing airline partners and much more. Plus, you can earn up to 70,000 points and enjoy no annual fee in the first year. You can find details about this card and a link to apply for it on rewardscanada.ca slash podcast. Now, continuing on and looking at the hybrid cards in Canada, the only master cards in the market uh, that are hybrid cards uh, outside of the aforementioned Diners Club are those issued by HSBC. These are their World Elite, Premier World Elite, and Jade MasterCards. Most focus is on the World Elite MasterCard, as that card is open to all Canadians. The other options tend to only be for the HSBC banking clients. It has a proprietary rewards program called HSBC Rewards, which allows you to book any travel you want with whomever you want, and once the charge shows up on your account, you can redeem your points, partial or full, against that charge. The card earns three points per dollar on all spending, except for travel, where it earns six points for, per dollar. And since each point is worth 50 cents, you are receiving a value of one and a half percent to three percent when you choose uh, the any travel, any time redemption option. On the conversion side, HSBC Rewards has three airline partners you can convert points to. They are British Airways Executive Club, Cathay Pacific Asia Miles, and Singapore Airlines Chris Flyer. The redemption rate is 25,000 HSBC rewards points for 10,000 British Airways Avios, 9,000 Chris Flyer miles, or 8,000 Asia miles. This means the card earns about uh, 0.96 to 1.92 Asia miles per dollar spent, 1.08 to 2.16 Chris Flyer miles, and then the, probably the best one, 1.2 to 2.4 Avios per dollar spent. Uh, these are all really decent kind of earned redemption rates, especially for BA. In fact, this card is the best non-American Express card for earning British Airways Executive Club Avios in Canada. And then you can throw in the fact that HSBC typically has a transfer bonus to BA at least once per year that is in the neighborhood of 30 to 35%. So you can actually be earning 1.62 to 3.24 Avios per dollar. That is really good. Um, HSBC is also the only bank that has a direct conversion options to Singapore Airlines Chris Flyer. So if that's a program you're really interested in, uh, you might want to consider the HSBC uh, World Elite MasterCard. The only other option for uh, converting to Singapore actually is our Marriott Bonvoy points. So I mean those can be earned with American Express and then you can convert to Marriott and then over to Chris Flyer. So that's another option. Uh, much like MasterCard, the only hybrid option card options or hybrid card options for Visa in Canada come from one bank, and they are the Avion suite of cards from RBC. It is the hybridity of the Avion cards that has kept the RBC Avion Visa Infinite card in the top ten cards in Canada for travel rewards. You may know that we really think the Avion cards are due for an overhaul, but that's on their proprietary rewards. Uh, the transfer partners, on the other hand, are amazing, and that's what has helped keep these cards ranking so high in our rankings. You can convert RBC Rewards points earned on Avion cards to programs like British Airways Executive Club, WestJet Rewards, American Advantage, and Cathay Pacific Asia Miles. The most famous of these is British Airways, since it is a great one-to-one -one redemption option, and RBC often runs promotions where you get a bonus when converting to Avios. That bonus has been as high as 50% in the past, but we really haven't seen that much lately. It's kind of been in that 30% range, but uh, you never know if they uh, bring that 50% back. That is something you definitely want to look for. We also tend to see a bonus for converting to WestJet rewards. 100 RBC rewards points equates to one WestJet dollar, and the bonus um, when it happens is typically 10%. So you might get 1.1 WestJet dollars per uh, 100 RBC rewards points. So that's also a, a nice redemption option. And sometimes we've seen higher than 10%, but it's been, that was a long time ago. You know, on the proprietary reward side, the Avion cards were famous for being uh, kind of the early trendsetters in the any airline, any seat, anytime redemption option. Uh, they really got the ball running on that. And the program runs similar to your traditional frequent flyer program in that you redeem a set amount of points for a flight within a region or from one region to another. 
For example, it is 15,000 points for a short haul flight within a province or to a neighboring province or state with a maximum ticket value of $350. This program proved to be extremely popular over the years, especially early on, before more and more card issuers began providing this any airline anytime option. The only issue with RBCs is that they haven't changed the program since its debut and haven't changed the earn rates on the cards. Um, and this has been going on for over a decade, so many of the competitors that are doing the same thing have changed to become even more flexible and valuable. We can only hope that RBC value uh, follows suit uh, to increase the value of the program for their proprietary rewards. But don't let that dissuade you. Um, thanks to having these multiple options for redemption, the cards, the Avion cards, are still a great option in Canada. Um, and that basically brings us to our summary. Uh, those are your options for hybrid cards in Canada. Uh, you can see why they're a, a favorite type of payment card for uh, here for us here at Rewards Canada. We love them because they give you so much option. Uh, they provide the utmost in flexibility and value. You aren't stuck with just one type of reward or program. Yes, the points are all earned into the credit card's proprietary program, so it seems like one, but at least they, they give you that option to convert to others. In fact, you should always keep the points in the proprietary program until you know that you need to convert them for an award flight or a hotel stay, uh, say via one of the transfer partners. And that's uh, what I talked about earlier. It's about locking those. If you transfer to an airline or hotel program, you're kind of locking those points in that program, and then you don't really have uh, all the flexibility options anymore. Um, so basically, you, you convert just before you know you're going to be booking something or using those points. Uh, there's one kind of asterisk to that and change that is the only time you would convert points without a specific award in mind is when they are having those transfer bonuses. Again, you'll still want to be sure you'll know you'll use the points in the end. Um, don't transfer if you know you're not going to use them no matter what. Uh, for example, here at Rewards Canada, we converted our membership rewards points from the Cobalt card to Marriott during that latest 30% transfer bonus to take advantage of that bonus. And we don't have any planned stays in the future. However, Marriott Bonvoy is our family's main hotel program, and we know we'll use those points. We use that program a lot. Had this not been the case, we probably wouldn't have transferred regardless of the bonus. And that even with this bonus being the best one ever, I wouldn't have transferred. But knowing that Marriott is a program we use lots, we transferred them. So that's something you have to take into consideration. In the end, you need to figure out what works best for you. If you're interested in one or more of these cards, be sure to check out some of the limited time offers on them right now. For example, the Platinum card from American Express is offering a welcome bonus of up to 150,000 points until August 3rd. That's $1,500 in any time, anywhere travel, up to $3,000 in value for their fixed points travel program, and up to 150,000 Aeroplan uh, miles or British Airways Avios, or 180,000 Marriott Bonvoy points, all of which can easily provide value north of $5,000. The HSBC World Elite MasterCard itself has a 70,000 point bonus, and like we said, no annual fee in the first year. So that's worth up to $350 in travel, or $28,000, um, or sorry, $28,000, 28,000 Avios. And then your RBC suite of Avion cards, they're all having a 35,000 point bonus right now uh, for new applications until July 26th. That's seven, up to $750 in value for their Avion award chart if you redeem right at that maximum ticket level for travel in Canada or to the US. Or it's 35,000 British Airways Avios, or it's 350 WestJet dollars. Lots of options and a lot of great offers to be had right now for some of those best hybrid cards in Canada. And that's it. That wraps it up for this episode of the Rewards Canada podcast. I hope we gave you a nice overview of what hybrid cards can do. Uh, honestly, we could go on forever about them since we love them so much. Almost all the cards in our wallets are hybrid cards. Uh, there's so much that can be discussed, but I just wanted to give you kind of a high level talk about it just to get your mind thinking about one of these cards if you don't have one in your wallet right now. So thank you for tuning in. Be sure to smash that like button, provide star ratings, share and subscribe via your favorite platforms. Thank you and talk to you next time. The Rewards Canada podcast is produced in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, with music produced by Regina Zone, TWKOP.